Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Aston Villa taking on Manchester United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the contest begins. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings plays alongside Ezri Konza in central defence. Leon Bailey starts with Coutinho out wide. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. And space available inside. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea begins in goal. Casemiro plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And handed a solo role in attack is Marcus Rashford. Watkins. Chance for Coutinho. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Action underway once more. Let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game. Casemiro. Fernandes. Fernandes. No way through. Oh, they have it again. Rashford. Nicely timed tackle. John McGinn. Rashford. He takes aim. And a fine stop. Plenty of support here. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Bruno Fernandes. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. 
intercepting it intelligently well, the attack showed promise but easy work for the keeper in the end Rashford now with Sancho a really top-notch piece of defending well, as you can see, Villa are struggling to control possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And a good-looking pass. Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. A chance maybe from the wide position. Deciding to go inside. Can't miss, surely! Sensational goalkeeping from David De Gea. Bruno Fernandes. Now Casemiro. Nicely cut out. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Good physical play. Cash. Douglas Luiz the cross is on Coutinho and a good take under duress there and there goes the half-time whistle that will do it for the first half here at Villa Park well Coutinho a natural talent and strategic thinker on the pitch Stuart he's doing his job for his side well I thought he had a really effective first half not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the game... So back underway with United looking to plot a route back into this game. Possession one. Bruno Fernandes. Christian Eriksen now. Rashford. Rashford. Sancho. Well, strong play to hold the ball up. Bailey and space to cross it determined defending Ericsson and with that the attack fizzles out Bruno Fernandes. Jadon Sancho. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And a play then for a Villa throw-in. Here's a change for Manchester United. To be replaced by number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. John McGinn Ronaldo Ronaldo threading it through Could look as though they had attacking momentum but not so Coutinho Bailey on to Coutinho keeper had work to do both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And there's the delivery. Not away completely. Ericsson 
Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Absolutely. And looking to try to take advantage of the possession here. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Coming off the pitch, number 23, Coutinho, to be replaced by number 10, Emiliano Wendia. Options in the centre. Ronaldo. On to Bruno Fernandes. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Bruno Fernandes. On to Eriksen. And back with Bruno Fernandes. Sancho. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close. It was a decent effort. Just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number 23, Luke Shaw. Coming onto the pitch, number five, Harry Maguire. McGinn. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. It's looking promising. McGinn. Ings. Can he finish them off? He's done it! What a climax to this game! Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So, the ball rolling again at 2-0. Ronaldo. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Douglas Luiz. On to McGinn. And attempting the through ball. Oh, fine stop. And over it comes. Well, the goalkeeper in charge of the situation. And there it is, the final whistle. And the big story here, Aston Villa get the victory. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Coutinho, usually right at the centre of the creative side of the game. How would you sum up his performance? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.